Well, hello, hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Uh, totally different environment today. Today we're in northern Spain in Bilbao, uh, or the town of Bilbao, and uh, we're at the Guggenheim Museum photographing this absolutely stunning building. Uh, now I was here uh, about two weeks ago with uh, our first uh, workshop, uh, but it absolutely poured but I did manage to get some pretty decent shots with just my point and shoot camera. Come out again with our second group and the weather is quite a bit better this time. And actually it's, it's been nice because um, when we first got here, there was a little bit of morning light and blue sky reflecting in the, in the building here. So the group has kind of split up. We're just kind of wandering around the building, doing our own thing and uh, whenever I meet up with someone uh, I'll just kind of have a look at their images, give them some pointers, show them what I'm photographing and basically just going for close-ups of the wonderful patterns uh, in this building and uh, the, the possibilities are just endless. So I'll show you a bunch of the images that I've taken so far. Uh, black and white works really well here but I think today color also works really well because we have golds and blues and uh, it's just just absolutely stunning really moved <laughs> very much from uh, from the same location as before but uh, what's happening is the because it, it was starting to cloud over a little bit get a bit gloomy but the skies have opened up again and I don't know if you can see this but you can see that the the tones throughout this building are just absolutely spectacular now we have some nice gold colors mixed in with blues and uh, I, I don't know, the, the tonality is just beautiful. It would be nice if you got this in, uh, in, in the woods, <laughs> this kind of light. Uh, so rather than try to photograph the whole thing, which is very tempting, uh, I'm just pinpointing little small areas. So I'll quickly show you uh, on my camera here what I'm, what I'm looking at. Now, of course, this is 16 by nine so um, it's not a, a, a true representation of what I'm looking at but what I am trying to do is just concentrate on the, the midsection there because I just love those uh, those golds and those blues in there um, just a beautiful beautiful contrast the other thing about this uh, building is that uh, because the angles are so different there's no true horizontals or verticals you can pretty much turn the camera any way you want uh, as an example you know I could just if I really wanted to shoot this at a slightly different angle you could shoot it like that and nobody would be uh, notice the difference it's more of an abstract uh, same with an angle like that 
So the possibilities are endless uh, when it comes to composition, unless of course I'm including, say, if I just zoom down here, perhaps uh, one of the pillars there or the railing there, then yes, you would you would probably have to shoot this uh, with the camera level, otherwise it's just going to look odd. Anyway, that's uh, one of the compositions I'm looking at here, and it's primarily because of the, the colour. Well, hello everybody. Once again, we are in the field now then. I think it was about four or five days ago that I was in, or well, photographing the, the Guggenheim, the building there. And uh, since that time, we've been to many, many locations and I've taken quite a few shots and some of them I'm really happy with. So I will show you those. Uh, but in the meantime, we've come to a new beach that uh, Alistair and I kind of checked out with the first workshop and uh, it looked like it had a lot of potential uh, the only problem right now is that we were just waiting for the tide to go out a little bit so we can make our way around the uh, the shoreline but while i'm waiting uh, the rest of the group are just in front of me here photographing waves i've decided to concentrate on you guessed it rock patterns once again <laughs> so uh, except this time i'm getting really really close I, uh, I forgot I had a, an extension tube in my camera bag, so I'm able to get really close to some of these wonderful patterns. Uh, here's one right here that I'm working on right now. Just little striations in the rocks and uh, really nice textures in there as well. So today uh, I said to Alistair, rather than try to take literal images, I'm trying to be a bit more abstract today because I'm finding a lot of my photographs tend to be uh, you know what you see is what you get kind of thing it's just a matter of composing them the way I want to so now I'm trying to just be a little bit more creative with my thinking since I've been here for a little while anyway uh, it's time to change things up a little bit so I'm not doing the same old same old all the time so the rock patterns are one thing and then once the light starts to change a little bit maybe we can start working on some uh, compositions where we utilize uh, light and shadow so I will show you the images that I've taken so far the last several days and um, and then I'll show you some of these rock patterns. I hope you enjoy them.
Well, as you've probably realized by now, I much prefer taking photographs than uh, making videos. But having said that, I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope you enjoyed the photographs. And if you did, please be sure to leave me the old thumbs up because that's always, always appreciated. If you'd like to support my channel in other ways, be sure to head on over to my website where I have a number of items for sale that support this channel. And lastly, we have a few openings in the workshops for Vancouver Island in May and we still have some available in October so if you're interested in that head on over to my website and check those out and also Spain uh, Alistair Ben and I will be running a couple more workshops in 2024 so if you're interested in those head on over to Alistair Ben's uh, website and sign up for his newsletter and Alistair will send out the information about those when they become available. All right, folks, thank you ever so much for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So when we do these workshops, we really like to do things in style. Uh, the pool isn't heated though, so uh, just, for, just for looks. Didn't bring me a bikini. This video is sponsored by <coughs> Yeah, this video is sponsored by Mahu Beer.